as a president, as a retired president. And now here we are saying bye bye to him, a great Kenyan. Mayor Kibaki is a gentleman, a man of conviction, a man who loved perfection. You've worked with Kibaki first and the opposition together as our leader. How he used to lead, how he would discuss the budget and come up with an eloquent exposition of the budget better than the Minister of Finance and tell him how it should be done. Kibaki will tell you these people don't know what they're doing. Bure kabisa. And when it's a lot of nonsense, you say, imavya kuku. But he was a gentleman by excellence. In the cabinet, we worked together. He would allow a lot of debate in the cabinet. And he also gave the ministers a lot of authority and power to run their ministries. So long as you do not get yourself involved in graft. The biggest enemy of corruption, Mwai Kibaki. And nobody is indispensable when it came to issues of corruption. So we have learned a lot from Mwai Kibaki. We came with almost a bankrupt economy and transformed it. At one time when we were living, it was rising at a rate of 7% per annum because of Mwai Kibaki. Of course, we have had also our differences. When at one time, Kibaki got involved in an accident. Others, opportunists, took advantage of that position. We never held it against Kibaki. At the time when we were negotiating post-election violence, the stocks had collapsed at Serena. Kofi Annan invited me and Kibaki for a meeting. We sat in the office of the president, President Kikwete, President Mukapa, Grace Machel, and Kofi Annan. We talked and talked. In the end, I said, I'm ready to come down to this point. This is the this is minimum. And Kibaki then agreed. So when we agreed, we shook hands. After shaking hands, the other people now wanted to come in, into the room to try to persuade him not to agree. He told them to memorize a killer kid. Sasa kuna kitu tena tunakwenda kuongea na Donia sasa. And we came out and shook hands with Mwai Kibaki and he kept that was words. There were differences sometimes in the course of running the government, but all of them were able to resolve them amicably. So in retirement we will continue to remain friends. Each time he has been an advisor to me. In many ways. So I've really lost a friend. The country of Kenya has lost a true patriot, a great leader whose value will only be known with the time as time continues to unfold. Mwai Kibaki, Emilio Mwai Kibaki, rest in peace, rest in eternal peace. I bring finally also to you people condolences of the Kenyans in diaspora around the world who are not able to be with you here today. Thank you very much.